This is baby Got the epidural. Yeah. Hooked it up. I did want a home birth initially, mm -hmm. which is a joke because I'm here with an epidural. <laughs> and so, anyways, we're here. Yeah, it's hanging out. At 5:30 a.m. How you doing, Douglas? Mom, I told I'm on Doug. An hour of sleep. I told Doug last night at nine. I was like, I'll see you in a couple hours because I was already having contractions. And I, and I'm 40. What is it? 40 I just weeks in were, one day. You're being facetious and funny. No, I literally was dead serious. I'll see you in a couple hours. And you're like, ha ha. And you like left and i knew he just like you know he's taking his mental vacation right I now i was i was so he got one hour of sleep that nurse assistant lady came through and she's like there's turkey sandwiches in the fridge i was like that sounds bomb right now <laughs> can't even eat oh, he sorry. looks like he's from the 90s because his grandpa gifted him all of his like og clothing this hat right here and the jacket and then I I feel like I'm so hip because I also have new balances. Ugh, you're like a Gen Z. I know, right? But yeah, we're just hanging out. Mm. The epidural was pretty gnarly. It always is though. Doug was complaining. I squeezed his finger too hard. I'm like, no, bro. No, I wasn't complaining. Okay, I was just joking because you were squeezing it so hard and blood was coming out of the IV tube. New camera shoots in 4K. We'll just 4K in on that thing right there. <laughs> Funny because I won't let Doug look for the cervical like checks, but he looks for the birth. I, gotta, looks, I, I hold the leg. I hope I, I hope I don't like go number two everywhere. I did that with Scarlett. <laughs> don't talk about it. That was it's really like hard recovery. Too. The lady was sitting there stitching you. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> There's only so far I'll go on the internet. Like I will not. <laughs> yeah, it happened last time. You okay? I think it's. It's just okay. We're having a baby. It's your fourth one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening. Do we have the names in this thing? Show me what yes, you got. Yeah, Take deep breaths in. Hold it. Knees back. All the way back. Three. That's what I need. Four. Yeah, we're we're more. more. Come on. Oh Five. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Six. Go. Last one. Let's have a baby. Up. Go. Little harder. Come on. Two. Three. Four. It's awesome. Okay, look down. Look. Hey, baby Jesus. Hey. Hi, Ma. Hey, Ma. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, baby, baby. Oh, you're already alive! Lisa taught me, right? I don't need to. Look at that. She's so cute. Look at her eyelashes. Does she look like the others? I think yeah. so. She's, she's, she's like her sister. Yeah, because he doesn't go for it. I, can, I, feel like, I don't know what I feel like she is. She looks like she's got lots of sing already. She's got lots of what? I don't know. Madeline. Hello, baby. Johnson. Jane. I'll write it down below in case people get it. But, <laughs> so, yeah, Jane. Doug, do you want to get in first? Sure. I guess I'll do that. So, the origin of her name is we just like Jane. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, um, our other children are Annabelle, Scarlett, and Oliver. So, mm -hmm. we like traditional names. Mm -hmm. Jane's in a lot of the books we read to the kids, like yeah. the literature that we're doing. For homeschool and i just thought it was cute and yeah, so i like it it's very traditional and i've always loved jane like Tarzan too, oh jeez i didn't know yeah. that <laughs> so we call her baby janie but honestly uh -huh. oliver's been calling her baby jeem jeem j-e-a-m so we're kind of calling her that jeem. <laughs> kind of weird <laughs> and then madeline is my dad's mom's name and she died when he was 30 so she always was talked about my whole life mm -hmm. And so yeah, Jane Madeline Johnson, oh, and she's cute, cute, cute. She's seven pounds. Five ounces. Five ounces. Yeah. And what does she have on her head, Doug? 
a swirl. Show it up close. All right, let's see if I can zoom in here on this swirl. She's got. She's got a top swirl. A naughty swirl. Yeah, <laughs> at least that's what like our our Is pediatrician she a said. Or yeah, our pediatrician's like Russian, <laughs> Belarusian, something. I don't remember. I don't know, but she she says, oh, he has. Because Oliver, Oliver has a swirl. Just, he has swirl. You know what that means. We're so like, like, uh oh. No, she says trouble. Trouble. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> She's crazy. I know, but, but it just here means look. they have spunk, whatever, and yeah. she does have spunk because I don't yeah. know if we're going to show it in the video, but she came out, which every baby, hopefully, if you're, mm -hmm. you know, blessed, but they're coming out cr screaming. Yeah, screaming, crying, yeah. She would not stop. No. Screaming she like she did more than any of our yeah. other children. Yeah, yeah, she cried a lot. It so, wasn't like Annabelle neighed like a horse. She sounded, you know? she made a, yeah, all she of our kids cry differently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This one, yeah. Like, yeah, the just whole time. so, so wild. I'm yeah. like, oh my god. Yeah, she's pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah, if we had like a, like a scale that goes across the bottom screen, although we don't. We don't but know if we, though. But if we had a scale that said, so, that felt like, you know, calm baby, like Scarlet. Calm to spirited? Calm, and then there's like, wild child, like Annabelle. I think Jane falls more on the wild side. I do. I yeah. can just kind of feel it. But we don't know, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of things I have to say. Doug's like, I don't know what you want to talk about. Yeah, well, it was like so easy. Well, people, women like specifically, men don't care, but women want to know about like, what's your birth story? Like, there's videos on it. The Come on, I've done out, this like, like the three baby times. came out first. Can no, <laughs> the first one was an emergency C section, you know? Yeah. Fetal distress. I had like contractions for an hour, you know, the classic, like five minutes apart um, at 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then we left at like 2 30. Yeah. And the hospital that we were supposed to go to, which is like bougie yeah. not that i care apparently it's like all it was, and it was like all they give you like stuff. tea time and all this stuff of course they're fully booked so yeah. i was on hold with my fourth child having contractions for like 30 minutes not on hold i was waiting for a call back yeah. from our doctor yeah. to tell us where to go because i was like well can i just go to this other hospital which if you live in there it's like saddleback mm -hmm. saddleback laguna hills yeah yeah and so I was like, let me just drive there because I'll just go to the plan B. And she's like, well, what yeah. if that one's full? Like the operator, I'm like, like well, I'm going to have this baby at home. I like, I do not. We have a friend in our homeschool club. She had her baby in the car outside the hospital because they waited too long. And I'm like, <laughs> and that was her third. So this is the fourth, you know, yeah. I just, you don't know. And you, I don't something's in my hair, like, like sticker. I don't know. We finally make it to the hospital mm -hmm. and like, I don't know what people consider a fast labor. Yeah. Because when I hear of stories of like the babies coming out in the car with your like third and fourth kid or the babies, you know, you're, you, you have a baby on one push, but at the same time, like I was still in labor for six hours. Yeah. That's what confuses me. It's like, it's like, to me, that's slow. If like, you have your child in the car, that means you were actively laboring, like at home for hours, and hurting right? for hours, right? This you guys have I'm to talking. let me know in the comments, like how long was your labor? Not like yeah. the pushing part because labor is like hours. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so, so that, that was like four to ten. Yeah, it was like six four hours of, of labor. Yeah, you know? and so yeah. Well, I mean I was in labor since like 1 a.m. Though. Okay. Yeah, so but it then, wasn't like a crazy like Yeah, you know intense. It yeah. was just like, you know, like five out of ten mm -hmm. contraction like pain level and so anyways Yeah, so we get there. I asked for epidural right away because I'm just like so over it with a fourth child I told you guys in another video a while ago that like maybe we'd have a home birth because <laughs> I love the There's idea no of it but honestly like after having this experience Because we've had like bad hospital experiences mm -hmm. and good ones like mm -hmm. really good ones and like really bad ones mm -hmm. like with our first one we won't rehash everything but we had emergency c-section Mm -hmm. uh, we shared a room, which I know it makes me sound so pretentious, no, no, but the no. family was, on the it, other it, side it, of the curtain. It wasn't sharing a big room. It was a single room split into two with a curtain. Okay, that's different. Like it wasn't a double room. It was a single it's room. It's not that I care. You know, it's not, it's not that I no, care. It was a 10 by 10 room. Okay. And I slept on the floor. He did, yeah. Against the wall, under the gurney. That and this is why people have wall. home birth. You know, and I was just like one of the million reasons. In there, yes. Yeah, and so like I was 24, or whatever. So like I didn't, I don't know. Yeah. And also my mom's insurance is a whole thing. Like unexpected baby, you know, yeah. with Doug. We were married. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> if you guys don't know, but okay. So that's like a whole thing. It's all on this channel mm -hmm. documented. And so that was, you know pretty traumatic then she wouldn't breastfeed and they just like shoved a bottle of formula they didn't mm -hmm. offer me a breast pump so then i had no milk supply and i was pumping for like nine months triple feeding with the sns tube it was insane 
but it really started because the hospital yeah. um and the people on the other side of the curtain mm -hmm. had a huge it was an asian family so they had like I think so, maybe it, like it was that. an asian family they all spoke a different language which i don't even care it's not about that but there were so <laughs> many of them it was like me and my parents i think uh, yeah and then there was like 12 people speaking all a different in language like 10 by so 10 room. loud so really it was and a I was five by five cut room open was, yeah yeah, and then I felt them actually cutting me open because they yeah. didn't give me enough anesthetic. And so anyways, bad on the level of yeah. spectrum bad, you know, for hospital experiences. It looked cool, like in the vlog. Mm -hmm. um, but this one was like really good. Yeah, and good so like as far as home birth versus like hospital, it just depends. It's so good when you have a lot of kids, I think, mm -hmm. to go to the hospital because it's like a vacation. They do everything for you. I know there's a lot of people that don't like medical intervention, but we just opted out of all that. You just yeah. say no, like, yep. no, thank you. And yeah. no one pushed us or pressured us or anything like that. No, I didn't feel bad about anything. Yeah. And we got to use our doctor. So that was yeah. luck though. Yeah. Anyways, there's pros and cons. Yeah. It just depends on how your, your level of mm -hmm. tenacity with wanting to do things the natural way. Yeah. And I'm not there. What would you say was like the most surprising thing that happened? Cause I know my most surprising thing that happened. I wouldn't tell you. What? So when baby Jane came out, okay, first it was surprising because we were allowed to record it, which you guys, I don't know if they'll see in this oh video Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Because with the, the last thing. birth, I was like, you know, because the po hospital policy and the doctor's policy, it's up yeah. to each doctor. We don't tell people we're YouTubers, which I don't really consider myself doing that anymore, yeah. but like, I still am, you know? And so we just like, can we have this for ourselves, you know? Yeah. Um, and the last time, what the lady The said, last one, she walked in, saw the camera on a tripod, and she went, uh, no. But then we yeah. still did it. I don't know <laughs> what happened. We were like, don't worry, we won't get like down there. It's just the yeah, baby coming out. Yeah. She's like, okay, fine. Like, this one was like, put me in. Get yeah, in she's here. like, you want, you want the mare up? You want to see everything? We're like, no. Okay, what was your most yeah. surprising? Well, my most surprising thing was, baby Jane came out. Okay, and then our doctor grabs baby Jane. She's wild. She's from New York or something. And she's she, got a big she accent. picks her up and points her to Haley and says, "Mom, look, it's Jane. Say hi, Jane." And she took Jane's arm, <laughs> newborn. 10 seconds out of the womb and waved it like this. <laughs> All the nurses are instantly placing bets on like how much the baby weighs. It was yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. I had a really good hospital birth experience. Yeah, time. it was a good time. And yeah, you don't get your own bed and stuff, but like, it's just, you had your own bed. People want to like go home and they want to be in their own oh, environment. And they oh, bring their own oh. pillows and it's like, I don't even care. Cause I got a hundred kids at home mm -hmm. and they're, this is like almost like this is more more easy going than being around all my kids with a yeah. newborn. Yeah, it would just to uh, to me it would but be hard. But we only stay like, one night. Yeah, so. we only stay one night. If there's complications or something weird and it's stressful and the kids are around jumping around the baby like. Because we did have that emergency C-section. Yeah. Because yeah. our first born was five pounds, fourteen ounces. So I think mm -hmm. she just couldn't handle it. I don't know. That's my theory. Yeah. And so we're kind of like, uh. Yeah. But I think yeah, and I totally got the epidural right away. Mm -hmm. No regrets. I did tear a little, not that uh -huh, Doug cares no. for to talk about it. I watched the whole thing. I watched all of it. Go I, I didn't want to look at the mirror. Like, I have yeah, yeah. no what. I don't know if dads look. look or what they do or what they don't do. Some do, some don't. I'm just like, there it is. Yeah. Part of life. What was crazy too was that we were just sitting there talking. We're talking about business of all things, <laughs> right? We're sitting there talking about the business, figuring out what we're going to do. And oh, because like, I the stuff don't feel on. anything. So I have that yeah, because he yeah. doesn't feel anything. So we're like, what do we want to talk yeah. about that we can't around the kids? Yeah, okay. and so then the nurse comes in and she's like, hey, we want to like check your little your little heartbeat monitor thingy or whatever. So she comes in, she looks, she looks a little thing, looks at Haley and says, oh, call the doctor. And Jane's There's head was just there, sitting there. So that's the thing with the epidural, <laughs> like... It just depends on who you are and like what you care a lot about. Yeah. I have no desire to like pull my baby out. I have no desire to feel anything. I don't care. I don't want to feel the ring of fire or whatever it's called, the transition phase. Like it's just not interesting to me. You know, I don't want to read books on it. Like I have other interests. And so it's just, yeah, people like have different opinions, obviously. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, because you get the epidural, I understand the, the need, the, the desire to like be really in charge of your body and empowered. I don't have that desire. So like, I don't feel the baby's head. It's kind of sketch. I'm like, you nurses better check this. Well, one of the nurses said that a baby just started crying because it came out and the mom on didn't the even know. On the bed. I'm like, yeah, so, you guys, I don't want, I want you guys, the doctor to be here. I don't want to like, oh no, like, yeah. you know, and so that almost happened. The nurse just happened to look at the right time. Yeah. And I guess they count for pushes, like a contraction. So it's not like pushing, yeah. at least these it's people. Like, it's like how much do you push during, con like how many how many contractions do you have? And then you push as many times as you can during the contraction. Yeah. yeah. So I push once, but yeah. like I push like it was, twice, it was three, three times. times. Yeah. Like for me, a push is like a, with me pushing, but mm -hmm. 
the contraction was one yeah, maybe. contraction. Doug kept saying, like, trying to be nice, like, you're doing so good. I'm like, yeah. he's not naturally <laughs> encouraging like that. <laughs> like, thanks, Doug. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't wow. feel anything, but okay. Like, you're doing such hard work. That's I'm, because I'm he, almost, like, he, facetious with it. I'm just like, I get think, this over with. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> yeah. it's because... Doug's gonna do a lot of hard work at home. I am. He's gonna I, do everything I for like a month. I very emotional when babies are born. I know. I know. Like I cry. Love my kids. Yeah. I don't. I don't cry. It looks like I'm just. She didn't cry at her wedding. You guys can go back and watch that too. I don't cry. She didn't cry about I nothing. do. I, that is not true. No, she cries all the time. About what? <laughs> about stress work and stress in the business. <laughs> no, I do cry, and I will cry. You know, like the baby blues for me are definitely real. Yeah, it happens. But like this time, it's not as like crazy, Haley. Like the first time, the first two times, I don't know. I couldn't even control myself. Like with I drop feeling a, empathy I drop for a the spoon baby, and she start crying. Like I, I just okay. had a lot of empathy, too much empathy for these little babies. <laughs> Listen, this like is when what they it was would like. cry, I couldn't even handle okay. them crying. It was that like, they're dying. Like, yes, Haley thought they were dying. She made take the baby out of my hands, do all kinds of crazy stuff. But this I was is, a psycho. This is what would happen. One day, she was just crying in the kitchen. Which and kitchen? Like, and it was our kitchen. And I was like, I was like what are you doing? I was like, why are you crying? And she was like, I put I put the turkey in the oven and it just looks like the baby. I thought Ch it was the a baby. Raw a raw chicken. A raw chicken looked like the baby. You ever picked up baby? a raw chicken? Like a whole chicken. <laughs> she thought it she said it felt like she was putting the baby in I the oven and she started crying. I don't remember which chicken that was, but yeah. If you ever pick up, like, if you ever pick up a chicken, it it's feels eerily like, like a newborn. That's why people don't eat chicken. She's so cute. And I would say that she looks like them all, obviously. Everyone's like, it's Doug again. She just birthed Doug again. But this one, I, Annabelle really looked like you. I think she, she's definitely not as tan and she doesn't have like jaundice. So I don't know, they all look very similar, but I'll try and find their pictures and put them all side by side. You guys can let me know what you think. But yeah, I think that's about it. My parents drove up from Mexico and then came straight here. They just left, that's like, a wild time because they're so loud. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go home and see the kids. All right, bye guys. Hey, hey guys. Ew. Yeah, Ew. it's baby Jane. Hi, Why baby, baby Jane. Jane's on her foot? They had to do some blood tests, so they, they poke her foot. Kid, put some cards on her feet. Show. Look at her feet. Yeah, she just wants to come look. Yeah, look at her got all in her hands. Well, I'm a two, like Yes, you swirl, you have swirl too, Ollie. Where's your big swirl for Oliver? Yeah. Yeah. Oliver, you have a car? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Oliver, you have a car? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oliver, you have a car? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Look at all. Oliver, do you think Baby Jane likes cars? Yeah. yeah. Maybe Baby Jane likes Rara? Yeah. <laughs>